Hey, I'm Mr. Gill. Welcome to my classroom. And today we're doing a short video on uh, parallel and series circuits. So I'm just going to set up a very simple circuit diagram. So we have negative terminal, positive terminal. Uh, these are conducting wires, and we have a load. Our load today is just a simple light bulb. It could be a buzzer. It could be a speaker. But in this case, we're just going to be using a light bulb. And when I complete the circuit, the light bulb lights up. If at any time I break any part of the circuit, such as I remove it from the negative terminal, light bulb goes out. If I unscrew the light bulb, light bulb goes out. So one of the key concepts that you have to remember about electrical circuits is the circuit has to be closed or complete for electrons to flow. Now let's take a look at a series circuit. Old Christmas lights used to be made in series, which could be kind of frustrating because one of the rules of series circuits is in the event that there is a little break anywhere, now it's maybe hard to see but that one actually is still lit up and this one is lit up. Uh, the difference in this could be because of the unequal resistance, there may be a little unequal resistance in bulbs, but also every time you add a light bulb in a series circuit, every time you add any kind of load, you increase the resistance of the whole circuit. And one of the disadvantages, as I was saying before, of having Christmas lights made this way was, let's say you had one bulb go out. Let's just choose this bulb. What happens to the other bulb? It goes out too. Now, if you were the person who was looking after the Christmas lights, and you realized, oh, I have a dead bulb, I better take a spare bulb and try it in all these different, by replacing each bulb one at a time in a string until I found the one bulb that was dead, and hopefully I'd be able to find it with this one. I know that this one was still a good bulb, and say, ah, it lit up. Well, this one's not lit up because, the, again, it has a little different resistance. I'm afraid not all our bulbs have exactly the same resistance, but uh, it completed the circuit, so I know the bulb is still good because electricity could flow through it. So now let's switch, though, from this kind of circuit to a different kind of circuit, the parallel circuit. In a parallel circuit, I'm using a three point, I'm using a three volt power source. And if you look at the bulbs right now, they're all of equal brightness because they're all getting the full three volts. Whereas before, um, the bulbs, the resistance of, this, of the circuit went up when I connected two bulbs. Uh, so the bulbs were dimmer. And now, both bulbs are bright. In fact, I can even add a third one, and it won't make it uh, dimmer. It'll still light up just as bright. Oops, got to make sure it's got room to connect. One, and two. There you go, three bulbs lit up. Now the advantage of the parallel circuit is I've got different pathways for electricity to go. So when electrons leave the negative terminal and come to here, they'll go across this first bulb and go back to the, uh, to the power supply in the positive terminal. However, they can also, they're also going to be splitting. So some are going here and dropping their full voltage on this bulb, but some are going here and dropping their uh, voltage on this bulb. And some are going here and dropping their full voltage on this bulb before going all the way back to the positive terminal. So, that's one advantage to a parallel circuit. The other advantage is that as you add more and more, uh, as you add more resistors or sources of resistance, the actual resistance of the whole parallel circuit goes down because you're adding more pathways for the electricity to flow. And if uh, we create Christmas lights in parallel, if one Christmas light goes out, the other ones still stay on and you can see which is the affected bulb. So, Series circuit, one pathway. Parallel circuit, more than one pathway. Series circuit means that the resistance in the circuit goes up with each added resistor. Just demonstrate that one more time. This one's not lighting up again. It's got a little bit, it's just a slightly different bulb, a little too high resistance. And in a parallel circuit, strange, you add more resistance, and the overall resistance of the circuit goes down. 
So, back up here please. I'm James Gill. This has been another video for Summer School Science 9. Please check out our site for more resources to help students pass Science 9.